How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews, back with yet another a review. Um, a little bit of uh, West Coast born, Belgian esque wheat ale, white ale, whatever you want to call it, in the form of Avery Brewing Company's uh, White Rascal. Um, yeah, I have not had this beer in a very long time. Um, I've had it quite a few times, but um, it's not that it's eluded me, I just haven't seen. Um, the opportunity to have it, really. Um, you know, it, it, it's it's on draft every now and then when I'm out and about. Um, especially when I'm in Pennsylvania, I don't, don't see a ton of Avery stuff now that they moved to Jersey. Uh, but I've had it, but I've never seen it in this can format. And apparently they've uh, kind of switched. They started doing a bit of canning over there at Avery. And uh, this is one of them. Uh, as far as what it says on this can, it says uh, Avery Brewing Company, White Rascal, Belgian Style, White Ale. Ale with core cow, orange peel, and coriander. 5.6% alcohol by volume. Authentic, zesty mischief. Sure. Uh, brewed with Rocky Mountain water. That's how you know it's good. Uh, malted barley, malted wheat, coriander, caracal, orange peel, hops, and Belgian yeast. So they're basically going for the kind of Belgian wit of the American world. They're, they're, they're doing their version of the blue moon. Um, Hopefully a bit better, um, even though I, honestly, I'm not going to lie to you, I don't think Blue Moon's a bad beer to be begin with, and uh, yeah, there you go. So it's got like a kind of a, a laughing, gestury, jokery kind of character in the front, albeit a rascal, and uh, you know, a little bit of can difference. That's the thing, it's like, uh, I can't say it's typical Avery canning because this is kind of new to them, so anyway. It's all about the beer. Label's cool. Label's all right. Doesn't blow me away. Let's see what the sucker has. So, that big, a gigantic, hefty pour that I did there. A little bit of a dramatic effect. Gave me nothing but a gigantic head. Um, yeah, you have, you know, two fingers, off-weight head, um, has super tight compact bubbles, infinite creaminess on it, and it's got a soft taster, so she has that, that wit, that wheat beer kind of haze to it, uh, to a tea. Nice soft golden color. She looks the part. Let's see what she smells like. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very much a soft, almost like sweet pepperiness. If anything, it's not like super earthy, super herbal uh, kind of pepperiness. It's a little bit sweeter. Um, it's getting a little bit more saison than uh, wheat beer for me. Um, but you get a little bit of that nice kind of soft pepperiness. You get a little bit of soft, almost banananess. So it's giving you a little bit of that German, a little bit of that, of that Belgian, but at all the same time, it's giving you a little bit of these, those saison vibes. It's got a nice sweetness to it. I mean, I wouldn't say orange. I have to talk about orange peel in there. I'm not getting much pithiness, not much bitterness from it. But there's a nice kind of soft bubblegummy sweetness kind of just surrounding the whole beer. Yeah. She smells nice. Refreshing. It's a beautiful day outside. Let's chug a beer. Cheers. Kind of drops off quite a bit. Um, I expected to at least get what it's giving me in the nose and the taste, but it's much, much less. It's exactly what it is, but it's kind of watered down and getting a little bit of those bubble, bubble gum vibes are probably the biggest portion of the show. Watered down. That pepperiness, watered down. Um, everything's just kind of muted a bit. It, it, it lends itself to being a little bit more chuggable, a little bit more crushable, but at the same time... I kind of want that impact. At least enough to kind of keep me excited throughout the whole beer. I mean, it's not big. What was it? Five and change, right? 5.6. You want a little bit of oomph to it. You want a little bit of showiness to it at its lower ABV um, just to give it some bit of personality. And while it's a nice beer, it tastes to be a roll vein beer. There's not much negative to it. It's a little bit too static for me. Um, and it, it, it just comes off a little bit too middle of the road it doesn't know if it wants to be a belgian beer it doesn't know if it wants to be a saison it doesn't know if it wants to be a german wit it, it's kind of like choosing somewhere in the middle to where you have um 
a little bit of kind of a lost identity to it. Um, it's not a bad beer, like I said, by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, if I'm out in a barbecue or somewhere in a beautiful outdoor location, someone hands me this, I'm perfectly fine with drinking it. It just, just doesn't elicit, let's put it this way, someone hands it to me, I keep having the conversation I'm having with that person and I go, wow, this beer is excellent. Let's talk about this beer. That's where it lands for me. Um, so let's talk about it. It's one of the better um, American-born, you know, Belgian-style wits that I've had as of late. Um, no, uh, not that I've had a ton, but just, you know, it's not bad. It's just kind of, you know, middle of the road, for lack of a better term. Uh, Vagant availability, um, it's Avery, so if you see their footprint in your market, chances are you're going to see this beer probably at a really killer price point, to be perfectly honest with you, and leave you with, if you like what we like this beer, if you like Belgian beers, if you like wet beers, if you like all that stuff, but you also want to kind of kind of hit the middle on those. You don't want to uh, get something that's a little bit too in left field, whether it be a little bit too tart of a sour, a little bit too big, robust of a wit or something like that. If you want something that's a little bit too, um, you know, a little close to the vest to where it's a little bit safe, definitely do you proper. So there you go. Another review in the books down there if you want to talk about it. Massive Beers if you want to check me out. Uh, doing a whole uh, social media stuff. Beer Massive if you want to check me out doing the podcasting stuff. And hopefully you guys enjoyed our review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice little uh, Belgian-esque wit right now. And hopefully see you next time. Cheers.